Hey Jessica, my name is Jared. I just want to talk to you here for a few minutes and kind of talk about your website, one of your competitors. Google is getting 63,000 searches per second. Google searchers trust Google and being ranked in the first, second, third spot of Google right there at the top on that first page, that's going to build instant credibility. There's no need to reinvent the wheel here, all right? So what we're going to do again, we're just going to compare you with one of your competitors. We're going to look at three different ways to get you put on the front page of Google. What keywords are you getting found for now? And what keywords do you want to be getting found for? All right. Then how do we raise those rankings with each one of those keywords? If you have any questions, my phone number is right here. My name is Jared. If you don't want to mess with any of this stuff, if you don't want the extra headache, just give me a call. I can handle that for you. All right. Let's jump into your website. All right, Jessica. So what we're going to do is just kind of walk through this, see if we can save this as... So Locksmith Company Mustang, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, I don't think Locksmith Company is the keyword, though. I think Locksmith uh, Mustang is going to be the keyword. So changing this out from we are a bonded locksmith company to um, we are a bonded locksmith. Yeah, I don't like the whole bonded thing. Just Locksmith Mustang would be better altogether, right? So as we go through here, let's see what this is saved as. Oops save image as so that's just saved as a number so go ahead and save all of these photos as your keywords your name your location all of those things need to be in each one of these regardless of what the photos is for so beyond the content what we actually want to look or excuse me beyond naming the photos is going to be content so let's just see if we can count everything on the website here so we're sitting right at 307 so we'll see when we look into our tool but um, Google warns not to have less than 300 words of content on your home page. The reason being is uh, they really need to know more about what you provide and services and things like that. And then also, if you're not putting content on your home page, they also think that you might not put it on your back pages. Okay, so minimum of 300 words of content on the pages that you're hoping to get ranked. And then beyond that, we were really trying to get up to 1,000 to 1,500 just to really spell out all of the different things that we have to offer to make sure we're saying the names, all the keywords properly, um, and trying to make the English kind of flow, right? So make sure we build out that content, name those photos. Let's jump right into our tool called AREFs. All right, so this is AREFs. And uh, so we're right here at the top, we went and punched in your actual home page. So right here, the 19 is going to be the home page itself, right? So it's going to tell us if we were to punch in a back page, it would tell us what the back page is. But so this is the home page. Then the 2.7 is the entire website as a whole. So you can see that the 19 is being weighed down by all of your back pages that are not performing or not being linked to, not, you know, not from your page or other web pages. Okay, so we need to build out those back pages, make sure they're getting some authority to them and raise up the whole website. The backlinks and domains are what I'm talking about. Reaching out to another website, which is a domain, and having them host content, which links back to your website, which is a backlink. You're getting found for 26 keywords and 37 traffic. All right, so I just jumped right into the keywords here. What I want to see is what you guys are actually getting found for. So you can see Locksmith and Mustang is going to be a good keyword to get found for. There's 400 search volume, and you're sitting at the bottom of the first page for that one. You just moved up from the second page. You can see just jump two slots uh, so action lock and save so that's going to be somebody looking for your name same thing with action lock mustang but then again back down to locksmith mustang you're down uh, you're at the fifth position in that one right so even though there's less search volume you are getting five people still so mustang locksmith is another good one um, action lock and key so you are ranking on the fourth page even though your name's in it on that one so Definitely want to try and raise that up a little bit. So as we're going through here, the general rule of thumb is basically what do I need and where do I need it? So you don't want to have your name in there because they're going to be return traffic. And anybody searching for a locksmith in their area, most likely they're looking for a locksmith, right? So they don't just search that just to kind of do research. I mean, I do, but most people don't. And so when they need something, that's the kind of keywords they're using. So I just want to show you one of your competitors quick. This is the Flying Locksmith. They're a nationwide company, okay? So I need to keep that in mind there. And many many cities uh, and they're ranking across the nation okay so the 41 is how strong their uh, home page is here and the 36 is all of their back pages and their home page combined right it's the whole website is going to be sitting at a 36 so this is what we're talking about making sure all the back pages have authority going to them so as a whole nationwide they have almost 13,000 backlinks 751 websites referring back to them right so makes sense that they have 
you know, and they're all in all 50 states. So they have a lot of these things going on. So they're getting 13,000 keywords over the entire website, very large website and 11,000 traffic. So what we want to do next is I want to look at Oklahoma City specifically. So I've got that right here. So you can see this. It's lock, flyinglocksmiths.com slash locations, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. All right. So this is the actual page that we're going to be trying to compete with. So you can see this page is sitting at a 19. Again, the entire website is at a 36. This page has 17 referring domains and 93 backlinks to it. So not a lot to compete with there, but we are going to have to get more than that to really solidify our lead because they do have uh, trust as an entire website, right? So got to be careful of that. They have 172 keywords, getting them 100 traffic each month just to this web page. All right. So Oklahoma City is actually one of the cities they're underperforming in, but I know for, for, for sure that other uh, cities, they are ranked number one across. All right, so I went ahead and just typed in locksmith OKC. This is going to be one of the harder keywords to get ranked for because it's so short. Um, but right here at the top, you can see the ads that are being run. So if there were no ads there, I would recommend it. But once there's already ads there, I don't because they, it's really hard to stand out uh, when there's three, four people running ads at the top. All right, but right here, this is going to be an opportunity. You want to get ranked here organically and if nobody's running an ad here, run an ad here. So you can be the fourth spot up here, and then if you get ranked organically, you can bring in a second spot. The other thing that you can see is happening here is that people are using the actual keyword to name their uh, to name their GMB profile, not their business name. Okay, so you can make GMBs to help get ranked just by having different keywords up there. So we could do that as well. Otherwise, name, address, phone number. Get that out onto as many directories as possible. Make sure it's an exact match, and that'll help you get ranked up higher in that. Down here is the organic section. So this is what we're talking about when we're trying to get ranked with the website. And so you need to have the content, which is going to help you get found for the keywords. And then you need to go get the backlinks, which is going to help rank the website. All right, Jessica, that is all I've got for you. I appreciate you sticking with me. I do have my daughter here. Uh, if you heard her stomping around the house a little bit, apologize for the noise, but um, so real quick, 1,500 words on the home page to rank in the map pack, really build out those citations, do the proper keyword research so that you're getting found for the right keywords, right? So make sure you word things the right way and really solidify uh, getting found for the right keywords. Take advantage of the AdWord opportunities, whether they're cheap or whether there's nobody there, jump on top of that. Outrank the websites by building those backlink profiles, not only to the home page, but to the back pages. Really make sure the website is optimized uh, as far as making the links and or the uh, yeah the tags and all the meta links. Make sure all of those are named uh, properly, right? So if you don't want to deal with this, if you don't want the extra headache, give me a call. Happy to help you out. Uh, this is all I do. I work with websites and just rank them on the backside. Okay, so my name is Jared four zero two five one five seven two two two. Thank you.